you have what you feel is a successful team, a team that can do the job at hand, but they're starting to walk out. They're starting to quit. Welcome to Leadership with Mike, where I help you become a more confident leader. If your employees are starting to walk out, if they are quitting on the spot, there is one problem, and you may not like it, it's you. Or it could be one of your coworkers, but ultimately, it's a manager. So why exactly are people leaving you or somebody that you are a manager with? It's very simple. The first thing is that there's a lack of appreciation. You may think that your employees are there to do a job because they get a paycheck, and you're not wrong for thinking that, but you still have to show appreciation. You still have to show people that what they do matters. And if you can show how it matters, that's even better. The next thing that you may or your team may have done is you may be pushing your employees to the point of burnout. Listen, you know and I know, I can only do so much, you can only do so much. So why is it that you want to keep loading your team with work? Why is it that there's a manager who just keeps on pushing to see how much juice we can get out of this person? What's going to happen is that you may have people that don't know how to tell you enough's enough. You may have people that just keep on saying, okay, I'll take it. Okay, I'll take it until... They can't take it anymore until you've pushed them to the point of burnout. And then there's no coming back. They don't care about you. They don't care about the company. They don't care about their colleagues. They're done. They are worried, rightfully so, about their family, their mental health, their well-being. So they are going to show you the deuces and leave. The next thing that you may be doing as a manager which is going to make people leave, is that you have zero flexibility in their scheduling. Now, granted, you may have signed on this employee and they said, yes, I can work Monday to Friday, nine to five. I get it. That's cool. But we have to have some flexibility. If anything, the last couple of years have shown us that we as leaders demanded that our team become more flexible, that they learn on the fly how to work from home when we've never allowed it before. And now we're starting to say, no, I know you did great work. I know we didn't become less productive, but I still want you to come into the office. No, I know that you could do the same job at home, but you need to do it here. Yes, I know you could probably catch up, but I can't let you have that day off. People will not stand for it anymore. They didn't like it before, but now that people have had a taste of this flexibility, they're not going to give it up. Another reason that people are just walking out on you or managers in general is that we're, we're creating toxic environments. We're allowing gossip to happen. We're being part of the gossip. We're allowing people to belittle other people. We're just overall making toxic environments okay. And here's the news flash that some people may not understand is that it's not okay. It's not okay to allow your environment to be toxic. If you're part of the problem, you need to look in the mirror and figure out how you're going to fix it. If you're not necessarily part of the problem, but you're not bringing a solution, <laughs> you're part of the problem. So let's figure out how to make our work environments less toxic. It does take work. It will take a lot of difficult conversations with individuals, with the team, with ourselves. And if difficult conversations is something you'd like to avoid, we can't have that. So link in the description, I have a free guide to having difficult conversations that I promise will make them less difficult. Another thing that people or managers do that just absolutely force employees out the door is the understaff. Now listen, you know and I know that we have a budget to work with. We know the numbers that must kind of make sense. But if you have people leaving and you're looking at it like, yes, we get to save that salary, that's not helping. What you're doing is you're putting more work on your employees, which like a previous point is causing burnout. 
But people aren't stupid. They see that we've just lost three employees and their workload has now been distributed amongst the remaining employees and there's no effort to hire anybody new. I'm not dealing with that. I'm out. I'm going to find a job that pays me for the job I, I, I was hired for. There's that whole movement of act your wage. Listen, you hired me to do this job and I will do it and I'll do more than that. But I'm not going to do three other people's jobs. That's not fair. That's not right. And people are not standing for it. When work gets completed, when your team is doing what they need to do and they're just knocking it out, you're taking all the glory. You are what we call the glory hog. And it's not acceptable. It's not okay. And it's something we talk about constantly or consistently on this channel. It's not about you winning. It's about your team winning. And, and it goes to, again, a previous point of giving acknowledgement to your team. Letting them experience the wins. Because nobody's going to break their back just so that you look better. But they will break their backs if you make it so that they look better. This next point is one, and it really agitates me because I'm very much of the opinion that we're all kind of equal here. Like you got some strengths, I've got some strengths, but when you sit on your management title and you think that you're better than people, if you think that what they do doesn't really matter because it's, they're just the employees, they're just doing the grunt work, you couldn't be further from the truth. When you belittle people, when you downplay the efforts that they put in, they're thinking, well, this place should be fine without me, so I'm out. <laughs> but you're here watching this video wondering, why is everybody leaving? So ask yourself, are you treating people better than you think you want to be treated? Or are you treating them like they are lesser than you and your management peers? Because if it's the latter, that will have people leaving without question. Now listen, I'm not saying that everybody leaving is 100% your fault. What I am saying is that the number one reason that people will leave their place of employment is management. And if you want to be a better manager, this video will share with you the quickest way to be the best of the best. Ciao.